I think every boy's boyhood dream is to be a professional footballer and to have a Land Rover. I've got both. But to get the Land Rover took a lot of blood, tears and sweat. The one that I wanted. And thanks now to Squire Editions, that has happened. Squire Editions have been building four exciting vehicles for Mr Vinnie Jones. We've got two vehicles that are going back to his home address today and we're going to be going through the projects to see what we've actually done to these two. One of them is a Defender 90 and the other is a Polaris. Vinny and I had a meet with this vehicle and he bought a brilliant base vehicle through a Defender 90 through a friend of his and a friend that's popped up in the YouTube channel a few times now, David Pody. Now this in itself is a beautiful Defender 90 XS model, low mileage and a brilliant base model for us to work from. Now when we went through this vehicle with him, it was a question of, well actually, what do you want to achieve from this? So do you want to have a vehicle that's going to complement your lifestyle? and something that you're going to be driving on a day-to-day -day basis or do you want something a little bit more showy that's not as practical now the reality is with a guy like himself certainly a huge countryside ambassador he wants something that's going to be practical and functional for his use so what have we done to mr jones's car we're going to go through it from front to back important to emphasize this is his defender 90 that we've done some cosmetic bits to the car but his 110 is a full nut and bolt rebuild with a 4.6 IS BMW engine V8 planted in there. Starting from the front, we have some beautiful pressed private number plates. We have refinished all of the checker plating in the satin black. Gloss black wheel arches to complement the roof. Satin black side steps, 30 mil wheel spaces, exterior billet pack with mirror arms, hinges, and handles, satin black tailgate hinges. Now let me show you this stunning interior. What's there not to love about the interior of this vehicle? Two-tone brown leather and the Stornaway 2.0 Harkeela Tweed, going from the seats to the door cards to the dash and back to the rear seats. So the question is, how did we come up with this option? Well, Vinny said this is what we wanted, so we did it. We have got some custom seat risers in here because Vinny's a tall chap, so we wanted to be able to fit the seat back that bit further to give him a more comfortable ride. We've also got the motor leader quick release steering wheel because these are desirable and even more desirable now. Final piece of the jigsaw inside this beautiful cabin is a black headliner with twin stitching and billet grab handles. Here we have Mr. Jones's Polaris. What he wanted to extract from this vehicle is for it to match his Defender 90 and his 110, so when he takes it to a shoot, everything all matches, and it looks, I quote, the bollocks. To achieve the desired result, we have color-coded the plastic components on this Polaris, twin drawer system, and lockable side cabinets. Now in the back, we have this twin drawer system, lower drawer to house four shotguns, and upper drawer, for refreshments when he's out in the field. And there we have it. Three of the four vehicles tailored to his needs. We're off now to go and drop him back. Let's hope he doesn't use my head in that car door. If you are not mine, I'm you go. I won't be your backup call. So you've had five minutes to digest him, Vinny. What do you think? I just, I just don't know how you've done it, mate. I really don't. This has absolutely blown me away. What I like about it as well, although it's absolutely fantastic, we've got the leather, we've got the Harkeela tweed. Yeah. It's still workable. It's still a work motor, do you yeah. know what I mean? And that was part of the briefing, wasn't it? You wanted it practical but functional. But we've done the roof, done these, we made these wider, haven't we? So we've colour coded them to complement the roof. We've put the exterior billet pack on. So everything on the exterior and the interior, as you can see, is all billet aluminium. It's it's just insane, mate. It's just absolutely. <sighs> well, I'll let you lot decide. But this, 
there's no words. It's just so beautiful. It's, I mean, look in here, you've got the tweed, we've got the leather seats. This was, uh, what was it, old cloth, wasn't it? It was just a standard excess interior. S standard yeah. excess interior. And now we go to that beautiful country look, masculine Land Rover, which it should be. And also, the... but not over the top. But it's it? still workable. Exactly. We ain't got tweed mats, do you know what I mean? Because right. you wouldn't want to get in them. No. Um, it's still, you know, I could, I can still take this out and use it and get muddy and everything yeah. else. Cool, that sounded nice. <laughs> so as we left, we made reference to Snatch, obviously, and we were saying, I don't want to be having my head rammed in that door. Do you think I'll pass the test? <laughs> you have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want it in there, would you? I mean, I love the way the lever goes into the tweed, I've got to say. You know, we've got, we got two different colour levers here. The hand stitching is fantastic. And then you go into the Harkeela tweed. But, you know, all the roofing, God, you can just feel the quality. Have a look in there. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm thinking it's got a great look inside and out. The smell is fantastic. It's really gorgeous. It really is stunning. This will be my runaround. This will be my go-to car. I mean, I've got the, the flash one there for the premieres and the, and the dinners in London, which I don't do very much, but this will be my day-to-day. -day. This and the Polaris. I mean, I live in the Polaris, to be fair. Um, yeah, this will be my day-to-day. -day. And I've got me 110. They've got me 110. Squires have got that. And that is, uh, that'll come back in a month or so. But once we get that back, then we're fully kitted up, but this is just insane. I mean, look at that, That's, that just says it all to me. I think the vision on the boys is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you've got to trust them, you know. And bear in mind, you know, I've been to, this is the fourth time I've, I've been to somebody who says, oh yeah, we do Land Rovers. Nothing like this. You know, there, there are people out there, I'm sure. There's a couple of companies that come to mind, but there's a lot that ain't. They no. say they can do it, mate. No, they can't. Be very careful who you use. I've been done three times, I think I've been done, before I actually got what I wanted. It's they important to say, you know, with all of this, that we've had a working relationship, haven't we? We've, we've been inside, we've had a cup of tea, we've digested. What do you actually want to achieve from the Land Rover? There's no right or wrongs here. This is exactly what you wanted to have. And that is the thing. You do it over a, over a relationship. It's not something, oh, I want this, this, and that. Some people probably will say that. Oh, I want this, that. And you can say, yeah. But then you get to know the character of the person and what the needs are, you know, what this is. You know, obviously, I, I wouldn't want to be, you know, running around at night, going over bumps and through, you know, doing the Land Rover thing. Yeah. This, you know, this is a, this is a nice motor to be going around. That Polaris is what I would be doing that. In. Now this, this is a different story. They've just done this, they've just painted this for me. Took all that Ranger stuff off and everything, which is lovely touch. At the back is everything I wanted. Again, you know, if you're going, if you're going out shooting, you want a bit of security. So there's the security. If I stop on the way, to fill up with petrol or whatever, I know my guns are locked up and they're safe in there. And this was both of our ideas, That's wasn't it? it was, yeah. And it's practical, because I've been doing this a long, long time. What I found was one of my mates had one of these and it all looked great, weren't practical. Because I said, well, right, now you're shooting, your gun's in a slip, well, what are you gonna do? Take your gun apart every, every time and put it in there? No, he should have had hooks up there so he could put his gun up there. When he's finished shooting and going home at the end of the day, then they go back in there. The other big thing I thought was, you've got your storage in there for your clothes there and cartridges there, but you're always out, whether you're out in the field or whether you're at the game fair or whether you're down on the test fly fishing, you always want a cup of tea or coffee. And again, two of you, it's normally two of you, isn't it? You've got your cup each, you've got your sugar, you've got your tea, you've got your coffee, you've got your hot milk, and you've got your cookies. And it's practical, it's workable. It's what it is, it ain't all the fancy stuff. Go, oh yeah, that's brilliant, but you never use it. This will get battered. This will get used. Used for exactly what we designed it for. Fabulous. All what I wanted. He still got me 110. That's another story. Come back for that.